Brian from the Disability Digest here. It is rare that a social security disability case gets approved with fibromyalgia being the primary condition um, without a hearing. They typically, in my experience, individuals go to a hearing. Um, it's commonly because it's a self-reported condition. Individuals may look fine and the medical evidence does not support that they are disabled. However, you're about to listen to a story uh, from Amy, a true story, success story, um, how she was able to get approved. And she points out some key things that she did to uh, get the medical evidence on file with Social Security so that she was approved without uh, going to a hearing, which saves her months of time. So I hope this message from Amy helps you develop your case. We'd love to hear your feedback and comments. If you know somebody else trying to get their disability approved, please share the video and help them out as well. Make it a great day. So hey, congratulations. Thank you, and thank you. We were totally stunned. Yeah, well, you know, rightly so, because 11 point two percent of the cases get approved at this phase um, so they typically go on to a hearing but um, somebody actually did their job um, at Social Security this guy Brandon I think is his name he read the stuff the first two denials said something wasn't there that was there I read my records yeah you know what I found interesting on this um, is that uh, there's a section in here where he says, I am not persuaded by the state agency's consultation findings. Isn't that something? Yeah. Well, those things uh, have... So the last thing is, Amy, I wanted to ask you a question. And, uh, y you know, if you have anything based on your experience, for others out there that you would be uh, willing to allow me to share and to preface that or kind of rewinding back is, I mean, you, you got approved at the reconsideration phase, which nobody does, um, and likely because we kept pounding them with evidence and uh, finally somebody read it. So that's <laughs> one. <laughs> And two, with fibromyalgia, there's a lot of people that are really, you know, they get they get frustrated, and most of those cases go to a hearing. So I, I don't know. I mean, is there anything that you've learned through the process that you'd be willing to share? Um, I think mostly why I got approved at this point was my last doctor's visit and what she wrote, which was the stuff and from the videos where you, you say what exactly needs to be in there. Um, I think when I go to the doctor, I start going da 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 and I talk so fast because I want to get it all in. But I think in some of the records, there's stuff missing and there's stuff wrong. Mm. So just speaking slowly enough for the doctor to remember and take notes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm curious, why is information wrong? Do you know or do you have a hunch? Um, it was nothing significant, mm -hmm. I don't think. Um, I don't uh, remember. But I know yeah. when I was reading my records, there were some things that were wrong. Yeah. I've had others report that, like, significantly wrong. So that's why I was curious. Um, and I so didn't, but I think anybody who's getting sick or getting sicker to where, you know, we're going to end up there should be reviewing their medical records. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I concur. And, and reviewing them in advance and then uh, periodically, especially when you go through the approval process, it's, it's the story of what people are saying about your situation. Mm -hmm. um, I just think there's the whole white coat thing that, you know, they're a doctor, it's done right. Um, maybe it is, but so. <laughs> I yeah, always so, thought that, but it's not. <laughs> I know it's not now. So, so um, 
reviewing your medical records uh, is, a, is a key tip. All right. And I thank you for everything you did and taught me what to do, even every time I forgot it.